Well, good morning, my berries. This morning, I'm going to go ahead and try to put on another face for you guys. Something with a little color. I got a request to put on some uh, blues and because I'm always going towards neutral. So let's go ahead and get started. Just like um, yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I put on my... Um, I put on my moisturizer, and someone asked me what color and or, or what foundation I use. I use uh, NW55 by MAC. This is what I use, and it is the um, Studio Fix um, fluid that I use. And it has that SPF in there that I was talking about, the, the 15 to protect your skin. So let's go ahead and put on the brows. A little brush in here. Make sure everything's in place. First, let's put on our primer. I like to kind of put the primer on first, only because you're not wiping away the brows that you put on. And as you can see, it's very simple um, the way I apply my foundation. If I mean, the way I apply my makeup. If you didn't see yesterday, I also did a neutral color. And um, today, I'm, I'm not applying the primer as heavy as I did yesterday because we're getting ready to actually put some primary colors on which is like I said a blue color all right so let's go ahead and do our brows and you just kind of want to go with the line of your brows guys um, yeah, you just want to fill them in where it's sparse. And um, nothing, I love the way when some people do their eyebrows really, really perfect. They look really good. But I think for myself, I kind of like a more natural brow. But, you know, to each his own. Because once you do something, like if you do those perfect eyebrows, you kind of get used to doing certain things a certain way and it just looks good on you, you know? So there we go. Got on the brows. Like I said, I don't use any concealer or anything like that on my brows. Now next, I need to grab us a brush. And today I'm going to go with um, this color here on my lid. So it's going to be basically the same method. Again, um, I'm going to work. Actually, I have a mammogram appointment this morning. And girls, if you're over, I guess, the age of 40 or whatever, make sure that is one thing that you do get done is your mammogram. Make sure everything is all right. So they can catch it in time if there if there is some concerns. Okay. Now at the on the inside, I think I'm gonna try to use this darker blue here. I thought I had a deeper blue. Let me check before I say anything. Because yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that blue, I believe, because I thought. I had something that was a little, a little deeper, more like a navy type blue, and I'm sure I do. Just right now, I don't have the time to, to um, dig it out. What color is this? Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I have this one color called Midnight, which is a dark black. So um, I'm gonna mix that black along with that blue. So here's the midnight black, and then, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of navy blue also. So I'm starting with the navy blue, and just a little bit right, right in that crease area, just a little bit. Right, 
there. We don't want to make it. I know for me, I don't like things too, too, too bold. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go along with the black, just a little bit of black with that same brush. And go in that same area. See how I'm just barely swiping to darken that blue to kind of make it like a navy blue. Same here. And then kind of go in a circular motion to mix all that. To mix all of that. Okay, now I told you guys I love my raisin. And that's that uh, transition color that I like to use. So we're going to go back with the raisin right above this navy. And we're going to go like so. Do you see how that looks? Isn't that pretty? And it's okay to kind of come down just a little bit. Because you want it to look like it's a transition. Like it's a seamless transition and the more you blend the smoother you you get that look that you're going after look at that isn't that pretty guys Just in that windshield wiper motion, circular motion, and blend, blend, blend. And there it is. Okay, now we got to go with our highlight, right? Just a little bit of a highlight right on the right underneath the brow. And you can even blend that out. What do you think? I'm loving it. So you can wear colors, guys. I mean, I know I, I tend to go toward the neutrals, but um, you can wear colors. Now we're going to go ahead and apply our eyeliner. Same one. I love this pen. I love this pen here. And try to get as close to the lash line as possible. Because remember, you are, this is daytime, and you can wear color during the daytime, but you just got to make sure it it's appropriate. See how that looks? You don't want to look too, too done up, like you're going, <laughs> going to the club, or you're going to dinner with a boyfriend, or something or another like that at night, so... This one looks a little thicker than this one, so just kind of thicken this up a little bit. I'm good to go. Now let's go underneath. You know, I, get, I feel sometimes like makeup is just like food or whatever. Everything in moderation. Do everything in moderation. You don't look too done up or too underdone, you know? Okay, now we're applying the mascara, and I told y'all about this mascara. Look how it just brings my lashes out. Look, I actually did my eyelashes and didn't have my mouth open. And um, one of the reasons I think I do my foundation the way I do, which is after I apply everything, because if you have any fallout from your shadows or anything like that, then um, 
putting the foundation on last kind of helps. Now let's go ahead and apply the foundation. Using the old sponge. Mm -hmm. Go underneath the hair, close to the hairline, and make sure you blend down here. Sometimes I'm even uh, guilty of not blending good enough down here at the bottom, and then so you have that line where you can see where the shadow, I mean where the uh, foundation is being applied. Be careful not to mess up the brows. I like this blue, y'all. What do y'all think? But y'all like, I knew that blue would look good on her dark skin. I just have a tendency of being more conservative sometimes. But thanks for giving me pointers and tips. So that is it for the face. And I told you guys I don't really wear blush because it makes my cheeks look really, really puffy. So now we're going to apply um, some lips. And um, we're going to kind of, I want to kind of go um, like more of a neutral type of lip. And basically I have this NYC and uh, the color is Plum Rum. It's a lip color here not very bold it's got a nice little shine to it and that's pretty much it guys if you want a little bit more gloss then you can always add some more gloss you know a little simple gloss would do And that is it. This is my look. What do you guys think? Very easy. Again, a light blue, a darker blue with just a little bit of black. Not a lot of black. If you want to add more black, you can. Um, just to give it a little bit more of a uh, definition. See that? See how that darkened it up? And then again, just blend out. Bring it on into the corner, the inside corner, and blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Do that rolling motion. Rolling motion. So there you go. If it's a little bit too much or whatever, just keep blending or you can blot. You know, like with a dry towel or cotton swab or something like that. Or even like a makeup thing here, you can kind of go because, again, you don't want it to be too dark because this is daytime. You know what I mean? So I'm going to blend out just a little bit. There you go. That's it. So I'm going to go, guys. i got to get to the uh, doctor. I'm going to do my hair, and then I'm out the door. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials because I'm enjoying giving them to you. Talk to you later. Bye.